Welcome to Tony Clown Sunday School Class. It's good to have you today. We'll be continuing our series, The Wilderness Way. And today's foundational stone is Perseverance. What did I call it? Perseverance. Perseverance simply means not giving up when things are hard hmm. um to explain i am going to tell you a story yes but before i tell you the story let us open the scripture so we are going to read from first corinthians chapter 9 verse 24 and 25 let us read in a race, everyone runs, but only one person gets first prize. So, run your race to win. To win the contest, you must deny yourself many things that would keep you from doing your best. An athlete goes to all this trouble just to win a blue ribbon or a silver cup but we do it for heavenly reward that never disappears Ha! Oh, okay this is what's going to happen the story i'm about to tell you it's actually about race yes about race and now the story the title of my story is The Iconic Race Between the Rabbit and the Tortoise. Once upon a time in the animal kingdom, there lived a super fast rabbit who was the undefeated champion of the racing competition in the animal kingdom. This rabbit always brag about his lightning speed while making jest of other animals. So one bright morning, Speed Rabbit proposed a challenge to all the animals that whoever has the mind should come and race with me. Lo and behold, Tortoise came and accepted the challenge. All the animals were shocked. Some were even laughing. Rabbit could not believe his eyes. Tortoise, race with me? A date was fixed for the race and all the animals were so enthusiastic to see the race between the tortoise and the rabbit. On your track, set, go. The race started off with a burst of energy as the rabbit dashes ahead, leaving the tortoise far behind. Meanwhile, the tortoise continued on his journey, never losing sight of the finish line. Despite his slow progress, he persevered. As Speed Rabbit was racing on, he noticed the basket of banana by the side of the road under a tree. Full of confidence, he decided to take a break and enjoy the bananas. Speed Rabbit slept off after overfeeding himself with the basket full of bananas. In no time, Tortoise got to where Rabbit was. He saw the bananas but he was not distracted by them. He kept on moving steadily and progressing without giving up. Yay! Upon awaking, the rabbit was astonished to see the tortoise nearing the end. With a burst of energy, he sprinted towards the finish line, but it was too late. The tortoise had already crossed, claiming victory. The rabbit discovered that arrogance and overconfidence can lead to downfall, while patience and perseverance lead to triumph. 
From that day forward, the rabbit and the tortoise became friends, appreciating each other's unique abilities. The end. According to the scriptures that we read, the Bible compares life to running a race. And the race is actually a very long one, yes. Just like the one in the story you just finished listening to. Hmm. If you run it with an overconfident and cocky attitude, yes, like that rabbit, you will not win it. Mm -hmm. You will not win. So, to run the race of life, you need perseverance. Perseverance. Perseverance has to do with staying determined and not letting any obstacle to stop you from reaching your goal. In this long race of life, a lot of obstacles will come your way. I should tell you the truth now. Yes, you are still little, you are still small, but there are a lot of challenges, there are a lot of problems that will keep coming your way. In fact, a lot of trials. These trials are not to destroy you, rather they are there to make you STRONGER! But if you did not have perseverance, if you cannot be patient enough to go through it, this problem, trouble, or difficulty, or even suffering, all of it will crush you and you will not win the race. Now, I'm going to share some hard times that you should never ever give up. Hard times that you need to persevere. One, hmm, yes, in your school. To move from one class to another, you know you have to write exams, right? 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 Good. Those exams, they are like the challenge that you have to move to the next step. So, in that exam, you need perseverance to study hard, to keep on doing all the assignments, all the classwork, everything your teacher says you should do just to pass. You need to keep doing it. Even if your body is saying no, you can't take it any longer because you know it's a race. You know you have to win. You have to keep on moving. Don't stop. Keep on moving. Don't stop. Even if your friends say, let's go and play. Forget about study. What should you do? Keep on moving. Don't stop. The next one is at home. Hmm. There are a lot of challenges that comes your way at home. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Your parents might give you a lot of chores, house chores to do. As a child of God, you need to keep on moving, don't stop. Those are the things that will build you, that will make you to become the person that you are supposed to be. So, even when the work is so much, keep on moving, don't stop. Keep on moving, don't stop, never give up, keep on doing it. And in life, that's the third one, you need to trust God's word. Mm -hmm. As long as God's word has said something about you, you will trust it to the end. You will never ever give up on the word of God. I'll quickly tell you a story of somebody in the Bible, which you know, Joseph. Yes, Joseph. God actually told him that he's going to become a leader. Joseph did not just become a king automatically. You see all the challenges he had to go through. He was sold by his brothers into slavery. As a slave, he became a servant in someone's house. This is the person that is going to become a leader. He became a servant in somebody's house. He was jailed for something that he was innocent about. Can you see? He kept on going through a lot of trouble. But something that kept Joseph moving is the fact that he did not give up on what God has said about him. So whatever God has said about you, don't give up. Because at the end of it, you see, Joseph became who God says he will become. It actually took a long period of time for it to come to pass. But it came to pass. Perseverance is what kept Joseph to the finish line. And you too, 
If you want to get to the finish line of what God has in stock for you, you need to persevere. You need to keep on enduring every challenges you are facing. You are not to give up. Say, say, I am not a quitter. I will not give up. I will keep moving forward because I am a child of God. Clap for yourself! Your perseverance will make you get to the finish line. So, don't give up. Thank you for watching today's episode of Tony Clown Sunday School Class. Hope you enjoy it. For next week, Sunday School Class, hmm, now, do this. For those of you that are doing my challenge, good of you. I'm actually recording your name somewhere. There is gift prepared for you. So, it's time to say bye bye. So now, say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.